Well, are you ready to defy a prophecy? As ready as I will ever be. Good. I'll give you a moment to get changed. And to secure the God Killer, I will keep it hidden until I am ready to strike at Lilith. It's their world now, you know. Deep down, they're not half bad, humans. Lilith showed me that much. Now you speak fondly of my mother? No, I speak truthfully. The best way we can honor your mother's memory is to destroy the monster she has become. Never forget that. Then what are we waiting for? You, actually. It's time. Still amazed by this thing. I prefer silver for killing monsters, but this gold looks like Oh god, shiny. You better not get a rash from this. Sure we can't up the fire on mine? I wonder if there's time to add some cloaks. You did all this? I mean, not all, all. A lot, but it was a team effort. And a good idea. Not even mine. I thought it would be a nice touch. For our first apocalypse together. Like a very wise young woman once said, we are the Midnight Suns. A family. And family is family. Yeah. So this time? We all got your back. Storming the gates of an impregnable temple, facing the mother of demons and gods know what unimaginable horrors inside. Yes. Only now. We'll all be doing it in style. Speaking of which, your turn, boss. Now, who wants to go save the world? I never wanted to live to see this day, Hunter. The Order of the Midnight Suns, risen again. My own kin returned from beyond the veil. Never on my own could I have united such a disparate band of warriors. You did that, Hunter. Before you go, do not count on any more resurrections. These moments are all that remain before the prophecy is either fulfilled or ended once and for all. If there is anything you wish to say to any of us, now is the time. We've come a long way, haven't we, Hunter? You could say that. I'm glad that you finally know the truth, kiddo. Especially going into this fight. It will not make things any easier. But you understand now that your mother, Lilith, was not a monster. Everything she did, she did out of love for you. But in the time since, she has done so much to hurt so many. I want you to forgive her, Hunter. With everything you know now, it shouldn't be that hard to accept. Just as I am about to face her? It may be more important now than ever. She does deserve forgiveness. I'm relieved to hear you say that, Hunter. But there's something else? I might rest easy if you forgave me, too. But I know that's asking a lot, considering everything that's happened. Of course you are forgiven. You're a better person than I am, Hunter. Thank you for understanding. And now? When you get back, we'll talk more about your mother. It's important you know the person she was before. I would like that. If you get nothing else from this, just know that I love you, kiddo. And I'll be with you, watching. You can do this, Hunter. I know you can. Hello, child. Or should I say goodbye? Goodbye. 
Let us not say goodbye, okay? We won't need to. Not if you all stand together and face Kithon. But what do you mean, if? If you feel lost out there, listen to their voices to guide you back. Lost? Voices? Agatha, what are you talking about? Just listen to them. They will remind you of who you are. Who I am? Goodbye, dear. And remember, death isn't the end. It's just a beginning in dark disguise. You're looking stronger than ever, kiddo. Hunter. Just warning you, I'm not really one for sappy goodbyes. No? Nah, it's a waste of time. Big hugs, back slaps, couple tears. If we're going out fighting, I'd rather get in a couple of laughs first. Your new uniform does not wash easily. Do not fill your farting crackers at the sight of Lilith and all will be well. Uh, excuse me? <laughs> farting crackers? Yes. Farting crackers? Breeches? Trousers? Huh? Trust that this would have been a very funny joke 300 years ago. For what it's worth, I'm honored to be following you into this final battle. You're gonna take the Midnight Suns far with your leadership. I am only leading them as far as Transia. After that, I cannot say what will happen. I hope we all return safely. If we do make it back, be sure to look me up, huh? I think I'll be at Xavier's school. Tell him you know me and you'll always have a room there. Just as a warning, though, the place sometimes... Uh, blows up. I am used to it by now. Yeah, <laughs> I expect you are. We should probably move along. Right. Enough chit-chat. Let's go save the world. Hunter, waiting for the light to turn chartreuse? I do not understand what a green light has to do with this. Never mind. Let's go show an Elder God its place in the universe. Before we go... Got something to get off your chest, Hunter? No matter the outcome, our meeting made this worthwhile. Don't make me blush. I hate blushing. But thank you, Hunter. Even though you're the star of this particular show. Well, I suppose this is our last breath before plunging into battle. Nothing is assured, so before we go, it's my turn to speak. I've heard Deneb 7 is an entire planet devoted to... Look, it's quite literally a party planet. So, let's stop the prophecy, kill your mom again, and then log off to party. Are you team party planet, Hunter? Are all the Midnight Suns invited? Everyone's welcome, but Blade and I get a private suite. For canoodling purposes? Nico never should have taught you that word. It sounds like a new adventure. That settles it then. Ready to bring Kathan down? I sure am. May the stars sing of our victory. Whew, chills. Gotta remember that one. It's inspiring. We made it this far. You ready to see it through? As best I can. I have no doubt it'll be your best. Whatever comes next is not fate, destiny, or prophecy. It's where you led us. This was a team effort, Steve. No need for modesty. I get it. I'm uncomfortable with praise as well. But I mean it. Best get a move on. Nothing else to say? The time for fancy speeches is over. Now, we get the job done. After all the ancient books I've studied, it feels so odd to be standing here and know... 
that I may be in the final chapter of my own story. I cannot say how that would feel. It's uncanny, really, and to be with you to share this moment. Is there something wrong? We are as close as any two people here in the Abbey, and yet I detect much mystery about you. Things perhaps you haven't even figured out for yourself. I have not been lurking around the Abbey trying to keep things from you, if that is what you are worried about. No, that's not it at all. It's... It's hard to put this feeling into words. As I said before, you remind me of the Ancient One. But you also seem to have greater power than you are aware of. It's like... What I see before me is just a peak. I think you seek to flatter me. It is working. I feel we have so much more to discuss. The day grows long, and every moment is precious, Strange. This conversation isn't over. It's merely paused until a quieter time presents itself. Until then, the battle awaits. So, this is it, huh? End of the world? All of us riding into the big showdown like it's the OK Corral? I do not know what you are talking about. It doesn't matter. Listen, um, I find this kind of thing easier if I have something to look forward to after. So when we finish putting your mother down, no offense, then it's cookout time at Casa Stark. Let's make Strange bring the hot dogs. As long as they're from this dimension. I cannot remember the last time I was not worried about something. If we do succeed, then a party would be wonderful. I'll put you on the guest list, then. Don't worry, we'll keep it small. 300 tops. Well, I do not want to hinder your party planning any further, so I think... Actually, there is one thing. I don't say this lightly, but you really helped me. It's not often I'm out of my element, but this abbey and everything in it wasn't even on my personal periodic table. You got me comfortable. You saw my weakness and guided me through it. So from the bottom of my heart, thanks. Seriously. You are a good man, Tony. I am honored to fight alongside you. I'm a pretty cool boss, too. At least that's what they tell me. I will have to take your word for that. Well, all right then. We're not going to accomplish anything by standing around here gabbing. Let's go save the world. Again. Okay, so it's go time, huh? We totally have this in the bag, right? To claim victory is guaranteed only ensures that one feels defeat. Right, but you're like a god-killing, mother-thwarting machine. And you've done this before. Your faith in me, Peter Parker, gives me extra courage. More than courage, we have each other. I always dreamt of being an Avenger. But now, I'm psyched to be a part of the Midnight Suns. I do not believe Cathan counted on all of us teaming up and working together. So, before we go and commit heavily premeditated deicide, I gotta say something. Okay, so I'm a little nervous about going through that portal. This is my very first superhero team up against a threat of unimaginable power. Hunter, you're the expert here, and I'm a quick study, but will you count me down? We can go together on three if you want. On three or after three? I can push you through the portal when you least expect it. Nice try, but my spider sense would alert me and I'd dodge. I just gotta get myself together. Never faced a god before. It's intimidating. Look at it this way. Cathan has never faced a Spider-Man before. Yep, that worked. Thanks for the confidence boost, Hunter. All right, I'm ready to go. You're ready to go. Let's go. And we shall, Spider-Man. Midnight Suns for life! I should have written a will or something. 
You know, like a responsible adult. Who would receive your earthly possessions? Ileana gets my comic books. She'll say she hates them, but she sneaks into my room and reads every new issue. Peter gets my favorite controller that I, uh, tuned a bit. Not to cheat, just to make the rumble feel more authentic. I'd give you the hell ride, but Gabe should keep it. Maybe he'll look at it and remember how much his brother loved him. <sighs> like he needs more tragedy in his life. Robbie, what is wrong? I'm not the kind of guy who comes back from something like this, Hunter. I don't really mind it. We're, we're doing something that matters here. But Gabe? He deserves more than this. Robbie, I am counting on you to survive this. Okay, sure. But why? Because you need to introduce me to Gabe. And you cannot do it if you are dead. <laughs> I don't think it's that easy. Listen up. I need you to keep him safe. Of course I'll keep Gabe safe. I was talking to Sparky. <laughs> yeah, okay. I'll introduce you after. I promise. I will hold you to that. So, uh, we're doing this? For real? Then let's hit the road. I thanked you for bringing me back with you, right? I know we're here because people are in danger, but I have to admit, I'm a little excited. Is this really it? Are we ready for this? Are you? I have to be, don't I? I've spent too much of the past year letting people down. That isn't who I am. But it would calm my nerves if I heard it from someone else. Wanda Maximoff has no reason to fear. She is a witch so scarlet that Mephisto himself looks pale beside her. Oh, stop. The Mother of Demons is no match for the Queen of Chaos magic. Lilith had better run before Wanda edits her out of existence. Come on, I can't do that. Do you doubt the power of the Extravaganzia from Transia? The Scarlet Witch with the Chaos Stitch? Our very own Count Wondergar! <laughs> okay, okay. Would you stop before the others hear you? Better? <laughs> Much. Ready or not, we are actually going through with this. But with you here, there's no need for panic. <sighs> It's surreal that we grew so close so quickly, but I'm glad we did. As am I. You're a mountain in the storm, Hunter. No matter how lost I have felt, I always knew you were there. Well, any final advice? Do not forget to breathe. <sighs> All right. I'm ready to have words with your mother. Whatever's on the other side of that portal, this isn't goodbye. That kind of talk trips you up. If you already think you'll lose the battle, no point in fighting it. No need to act tough. I am also concerned for what may come of this. It's like you're having a conversation with yourself. I'm not concerned. Not for me, not for any of you. We're the Midnight Suns, and after today, the whole world will know what that means. You think this is a big moment, don't you? Fine. If you have something to get off your chest, say it. Whatever helps you shake the jitters loose. It sounds like you have something to say to me. Yeah, okay. The stories Sarah and Agatha told about you? To me, it sounded like nostalgia and heartache. I used to think nobody could live up to that. Well, I was right. Wow. No, listen. You don't live up to those stories. You exceed them. I... <laughs> wow. I'm not sure why the world's greatest demon hunter opened up to a guy with fangs, but I'm glad you did. And what you did for Carol and I? Who knows what the future holds? 
But if it all goes well, I want you in my wedding party. You are getting married? Shh, come on, Hunter. It's way too early to broach that subject. All I'm saying is that if it does happen, save the date. All right. However this ends, what we do today matters. Carry that with you, Hunter. I will. Thanks, Blade. Uh, you can call me Eric. Thanks, Eric. <sighs> Regretting this already. So, this is it, huh? It appears so. I, uh, just wanted a moment to talk to you, you know, just in case we, uh, never get a chance to again. I promise you, Nico, this will not be the last time we speak. You better mean that. I've just gotten used to our weird little family, and I'm, I'm not sure I want to lose it. And you're the biggest part of that. You brought this team together in a way I couldn't. I have a ton of respect for that, Hunter. So, you know, don't die. Nico, you were the first to treat me as a person, not just some ancient weapon. Well, yeah, that's because you're awesome. I just thought you needed a friend. But you did so much more than that. I may lead the Midnight Suns, but you are the team's heart. Hunter, you do not get to make me cry in front of Tony Stark. I am so sorry. It's fine. I'm fine. Just kind of caught me off guard is all. You know, we're still going to hang out when all this is done, right? See? Now you have a reason to win. <laughs> okay. You convinced me. Well, I guess it's time. I'll see you on the other side, Hunter. Can you smell it? Smell what? Chaos and uncertainty. It saturates the air. <laughs> Funny. All I smell is Stark's unwashed socks. <laughs> you know, I don't think I've seen him do laundry since he's been here. Makes me actually feel bad for Strange. If anything, the doctor is tidy. It suddenly occurred to me, this might be our last conversation. Do not say that. You have been one of the closest friends I have ever had, Hunter. I want you to know that. If we are to die... I would be proud to do it by your side. Oh, Ileana. Let's not get emotional about this. If we want to avoid dying by each other's side, we could always take refuge in limbo. Use some solace to build us a house, grow a little garden with hellfruit. Charlie would love it there. <laughs> Gardening. Sounds like a nightmare. It does. Besides, if Lilith wins, there might not be a limbo. Then we can't let her win. Because that's my hellscape. Well, it's almost time. Ileana. No. No goodbyes. See you out there, Hunter. I like this suit. It reminds me of something I would wear when I ruled the limbo. Hunter. Oh, Charlie. I am sorry. But you cannot come with me this time. I have to do this alone. You have waited for me before. Now all you have to do is wait a little bit longer. Can you do that for me, girl? Oh, that is what I thought. Do not worry. I will not be gone for long. Promise. Oh. 
good girl, Charlie. We did not have time to get to know one another well, but I am still honored to enter this battle at your side. Hulk not have words, so Hulk say excited to crush demons to pulp. That is the kind of attitude I like to hear. Hulk not interested in more blah blah blah. This boring. Bring on bad guys. Right. Let us get on with it. Hulk not like lettuce. Blah! <laughs> 